These are the weirdest moments ever caught on security cameras. They really do catch everything these days. We all make mistakes, and every now and then that means you'll destroy some expensive machinery at work. But this man took that to a new level. The nope. boat's obviously a goner. Anyone could have predicted that. But he also forgot to put the handbrake on his forklift. Traffic and been tempted to take a little shortcut? James Kinsella decided to take one too, through a bustling shopping center. His reckless riding caught the eye of the law as he zipped past pedestrians in Boodle, England. Kinsella carried on with his misguided motoring even after a police helicopter started chasing him. Thankfully, nobody was injured, but we're sure the shopping center's security team must have been baffled by this spy thriller-like foot around. This guy must have really been on the goalpost bad side. I don't know what he could have possibly done, but there was no way he was getting out of that. Walking into a glass door is the real-life version of slipping on a banana peel, and this guy knows it. He milks it for all it's worth before opening the door as carefully as he can. This thief made a huge mistake by trying to grab this woman's bag. She wasn't about to go down without a fight, but her tactic was pretty unusual. She probably realized that everything in her bag could be replaced, but the bike, on the other hand... Bye, have a great time. ...the long face. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey. You. Seriously, there's no punchline. An actual horse walked into an actual bar in France. Wild scene in Chantilly, north of Paris last month. Customers scattered as a young horse ran to the rear of the bar. The people inside this sports betting bar sadly got too close to the action when a racehorse escaped from the famous Chantilly race course. The young racehorse bucked its rider off before entering the bar and got captured on their security cameras. The horse's trainer says he lost control of the filly as he led it from the stable to a race course. It apparently darted towards the betting corner before rushing back, all the while kicking furniture and scaring the other customers. Luckily, the horse didn't hurt anyone and also didn't sustain any injuries. We guess no one bet on a horse running amok in that bar. It's hard to know exactly what happened here, but it looks like that machine intentionally spat a tub of milk onto the floor. But no matter what caused it, the real bad news is that he still has to clean it up. Packaging should be easy, but after seeing this, I think we might have it all wrong. I don't know if this huge contraption is the normal tool for this job, but if it is, they might want to come up with a better system. Every pet owner knows that animals are always up to something, but as this dog proves, it's not just cats who get up to mischief. This dog decided its owner's fluffy hood was an ideal toy, and he didn't care if the hood was still attached to her. Luckily, she seems to think it's even funnier than the dog does. <laughs> A pony carelessly walking into a police station definitely isn't something you see every day. But whatever his reason was, he seemed determined to complete his mission. In the end, it seems like he got what he wanted, though. Ranger decided to surprise reality TV star Danielle Yancey and her husband on New Year's Eve. Danielle's husband Bart had noticed an obscured figure lurking around their home in Alabama. When Bart confronted the exposed interloper, he turned tail and ran before he could get a good look at him. The Yanceys looked at what their security camera had filmed, and let's just say they were confused. This peeping Tom wasn't wearing anything except for a Ronald Reagan mask. Ronald Reagan? The actor? <laughs> and a sock on his, well, he was barefoot, so you can guess where. The skinny naked man with a sock placed over his privates can be seen looking into windows and crawling around the porch. The police have no leads, and the identity of this sub-zero streaker is still unknown. Authorities say police are still looking for the man. Carried away while mopping the floor at work. The office was empty after all, except she'd forgotten about two things. She wasn't facing the direction of the door, and more importantly, there were a whole lot of cameras watching. At least her customer was impressed. Things go wrong at work all the time. You just better hope you're not working with something expensive, like a whole lot of TV screens. He never stood a chance. One wrong move and he was on the floor with every display TV in the whole store. After someone decided to get rid of their Halloween costume, this man wasn't about to let an opportunity like that pass him by. Instead of throwing it in with the rest of the trash, he decided to try it on for himself. The police really do have it hard, even on a normal day at the office like this. I'm sure he would have never imagined a microwaved egg being his biggest threat of the day.
Dum, da, 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 dog driving a car. Dun, da, da, da. A crime that would even stump Sherlock Holmes had it not been for this family's security cameras. When the aptly named TikTok user living the drift life found out that his golf cart crashed into his car, he assumed that it had to have been his kids that were responsible. Only after reviewing his security camera footage did he realize that it was his dog Titan whose paws were behind the wheel. You can see the mischievous pooch sniffing the golf cart before he decides to commit Grand Theft Pauto. Don't worry, this little troublemaker was unscathed and a little unbothered by the incident. We just hope his joyriding days are behind him. Oh, stupid drunk dog! <laughs> is no one's cup of tea, but I bet this guy didn't quite imagine it would end up like this. I wonder what hurt more, his pride or diving headfirst in a bin full of twigs? People have weird hobbies, but they usually do them where no one can see them. These guys were forced to take theirs outdoors, though. <laughs> Kayaking on grass? Well, I guess you might as well give it a try if you happen to have a golf cart handy. Sometimes the biggest mistakes lead to the greatest of victories. I'm sure he wasn't actively trying to do that, but hey, at least he helped out the people on the other table. It seems like the best trick shots are always the ones that happen by accident. Many times the most expensive purchases are also the biggest objects, and it's up to the delivery people to have it arrive in one place. And sometimes that means carrying double door fridges up the front steps. Or, you know, not quite getting it up the stairs the footage itself, but the mystery behind this man. He checked into the Sligo City Hotel in Ireland under the name Peter Bergman. He would have filled out his reservation form, we would have asked him for some details, his name, his address, and that he wanted to book the room for three nights. He paid us in cash, on arrival. And had given the hotel his address, which was in Austria. A few days later, his body washed up on Ross's Point Beach and the police were called. Only then did people realize that there was no Peter Bergman from Austria. Most of his clothes had the labels cut off, he had no form of identification, and there was still no definite cause of his death. It just shows the level of planning, the level of detail he had gone into to ensure that he was never identified. The footage from these CCTV cameras has been analyzed by people all over the world, but no one has any clue who Peter Bergman really is. The images themselves are haunting in the sense that he remained on his own. He didn't communicate or mingle with anyone. In effect, he was writing the What? Everyone could learn a thing or two about remaining calm from this guy. It's not every day a house falls on top of a car while you're walking past, but he didn't mind. He stopped for a moment before continuing with the rest of his day as though nothing happened. Yeah, boy. You might think that the first rule of driving is knowing how to steer a car or maybe watching your speed. Whoa! But it's simpler than that. What it really comes down to is remembering to put up your handbrake. I'll bet he won't be making that mistake ever again. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this moment is about as close as you can get to a disaster without anything bad actually happening. The crane hook accidentally started swinging at exactly the wrong moment, and somehow it managed to miss the car and the man by the tiniest margin you'll ever see unleashed her ultimate form, then what would a broken ice cream machine do? The crazed customer, Melody Duchesne, went ballistic after learning that chicken nuggets could not be served at 10.30 a.m. at this McDonald's restaurant. I can't tell you how many homicides I've seen and been to, but I've never experienced an assault over fast food. She began bashing employees and blurting out outlandish things that we'd rather not repeat. As the manager hurries over to slide the window shut, Duchesne decks her one the second she arrives. This is the second person Duchesne punches, but the manager fights back. Duchesne even threatened to go Super Saiyan before she broke.
स्टोरेज No clean getaways were made either as the miscreant spent 12 months in jail and was banned from using the roads for 3 years. These kids decided that breaking the TV was their best option. I don't quite know what they were trying to do, but whatever it was, I guess it worked. It's common sense that you need to pay for your food takeout, but I don't think that quite applies for dogs too. These huskies were more than happy to answer the door and take the food, but when it came to the paying part, that just didn't sit well with them. You might have never realized this, but going to the hairdresser can be pretty dangerous. One wrong move from them and you'll end up like this boy in the background. He definitely wasn't expecting to leave from there with a race track across his head. Emotional damage. I don't know what happened to cause this disaster, but I'm glad I'm not the person who has to clean up the mess. Shanxi province in China managed to break an entire concrete column with a single kick. Oh, you're a master of karate, your friendship for everyone. Damn. What's even stranger is that once the column came clean off and fell from the bridge, so did every other column. This mesmerizing and deplorable domino effect sent 215 columns into the river. Unfortunately, it is not evident if this vandal was arrested. So there's a chance that this masked mischief maker is still at large and presumably kicking more columns. We're glad everyone was fine. Um, except for the construction company that probably got more than an earful. Nature is actually a lot stronger than any of us want to believe. If you ever needed proof of that, this wild pig is here to show you. Dinner's ready, honey. <laughs> Whatever it was, that gate just wasn't strong enough. There's usually a right way and a wrong way to do things. There's no doubt in my mind that this is the latter. Everything she did to deliver that monitor was just wrong on so many levels. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. I guess she got to it before he ever got the chance. This driver had almost the whole bay to themselves and yet they still managed to hit the parked car. We all need to watch where we're going, but sometimes the world lays traps for you. It looks like the perfect place to ride a bike until he finds out that it's all wet cement. Later. I guess it could have been worse. He could have been stuck there forever. Noon on a motion sensor camera outside a home in La Junta, Colorado. What, what would you do if you saw this in your driveway? Would you call the police, the military, or maybe Hogwarts? As soon as this clip was uploaded by the homeowner Vivian Gomez, the internet started buzzing with theories about the creature. Some said it was of alien origin, while others assumed it was everyone's favorite house elf Dobby. Skeptics, however, questioned its legitimacy. They suggested that this creature was none other than Vivian's son Bobby with his underpants on his head. Bobby, was that you in the video? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Definitely. Vivian firmly claims that the video was not manipulated and that her son was watching TV beside her when whatever this is decided to drop by. Here's Bobby doing the chicken dance on a night vision camera. And here he is side by side with the girl. This guy had a trick up his sleeve, but it wasn't going to pan out how he thought it would. <laughs> Some stories really do have a perfect ending. This guy's apartment doesn't seem to have anything out of place until he carefully moves a table a couple of feet. Most people don't climb fences for a reason, so you have to wonder what was going through this guy's mind. Never try to climb over a wobbly fence in the middle of a busy road. Actually, I wonder if anything was going through his mind at all. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? Have a look behind the fence and you'll see a car on a truck, or is it a car rolling off a truck? Tell me you're getting fired without telling me you're getting fired. This guy was is that this man took too literally. Roberto Arroyo arrived at the Dungan residence at 2 in the morning and spent almost 3 hours licking their intercom system. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> the owners who assumed it was their son coming back from a midnight shift were horrified by what they saw. The Dungans posted the video to social media and soon the search for the hashtag doorbell licker commenced. After leaving a generous amount of DNA at the crime scene, Roberto was eventually identified and arrested. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We got him. It might just be us, but what's weirder than the licking is the constant eye contact. At work, a stack of pizzas might arrive, and then this happens. We can all sympathize with that. You'll get to the pizzas a whole lot quicker, though, if you don't have to cross a sea of broken glass to pick up your delivery. We all get lost in our thoughts sometimes, but there's a time and place for everything. By the looks of it, though, he was quickly snapped back to reality when his mom saw it all happen in front of her. These guys are doing exactly what it looks like. They're trying to get their horse in an elevator. And sure enough, they do get it in, and then they take it straight back out again. Why? Why? Wheeling a tower of beer around is easy. Yes! I do admire his dedication, though. He did try to catch them, even if that was never going. Chicken coop. What do you do? Big bear chase. What does he say? What? Big bear chase me. <laughs> if you're this crafty homeowner, then you'd have something absolutely fur-raising in store for it. Haley was notified that there was some activity in her yard. It turned out to be this bear who was probably looking to grab a late-night snack, and a chicken coop can make for an easy target. Instead of doing nothing or going outside and becoming the bear's main course, Haley let out a spine-chilling yell. It sounded so grisly that it confused and intimidated the bear into backing off and scampering away. What these guys did was wrong. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have been resting on the wall, but maybe a bit of cement to keep it all together would have helped a lot too. If Santa arrived late this year, maybe it's because of this. I hope he managed to catch him in the end. If you've ever had a plant go missing, it's probably because of this guy. The poor plant never even saw it coming. You are mine now. You belong to me. They say what goes around comes.